What's up guys? How's it going? This is your guy Evil D here. I decided that I was gonna do a video. I know things look kind of weird. I'm over in the corner here. Look over here. Anyway, um, recently people have been asking me, say, hey, Evil, how do you do the stuff on your screen for your overlays or for your mixer profiles and things like that? So today, instead of going through everything that I've done on my profile or on my mixer, we're just gonna go through the basic stuff of how to add your about me to your profile page and different editing tools and tips. The biggest one that we're gonna focus on today with this video is how to add an image to your um, mixture profile. All right, so with that said, we're going to open up our, the browser, I'm sorry. Got a little confused there for a second. My brain kind of stopped. All right, so we got the browser open here. So with this, you see I'm on my wonderful, hey, it's Evil D. All right, so I did a lot of work in here um, setting up my overlay, or not my overlay, but my images and my About Me page. My About Me page is actually a bunch of images on top of the area that we use. So if you click on my images, you know, on my About Me stuff, it's actually a picture, right, that I put together and built on my own. But the biggest thing for most of the people out there is they don't know how to add a picture, how to add an image to your mixer profile. So we're gonna take this crazy image that I found. Come play with me. We're gonna take that image and we're, I'm gonna show you how to get that image to your mixer page. So first off, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go over to imager, imager.com, not the evil D's, okay, but imager. You're gonna, uh, once you get a new account, it's a free account by the way, I want you to create a new post. It's a new post, we're gonna find out where I did with that folder. All right, so then find your picture. I have the picture right here, come play with me. All you're gonna do is take that picture, drag and drop, boom. You now officially made your first new post on Imager. Now mind you, you're like, I don't want people to get my pictures or stuff like that. You know, I, this is all about me. I don't want it, you know, somebody to copyright my stuff. Imagery gives you three options. You have all your images, your public images. As you see, all my stuff is hidden. And here's my hidden albums. So now, well, most people make the mistake when they're on Imager, they will click on the image. And you'll see that it shows you the post and you got this link here. This link does not connect to Mixer very well. Uh, I'll show you what I mean by here. So we're gonna copy this link. We're gonna go to how we add an actual image. So down here, you see this little blinky, you know, my scroll. It's left justified. We're gonna center that so the image comes in center. We're gonna click on the image icon. You guys see it's right here, right here. And that URL that we had earlier that we copied, I'm gonna paste that in here. Now we just click on an alternative text and you see there's an X for the preview. So that means that image does not work. This link will not get that image that we're looking for. And we know the little image is already here. So this is the correct way. Go over to your name. You're over here. Go back. You want to actually click images. Pull up. Now I have the image. When I click on the image, you see all these wonderful different coding links and everything else. We want the direct link, guys. This is how you're gonna get your image to actually show up on your page, direct link. So we're gonna copy that, come back over here to Mixer, and we're gonna put this link in. Boom, just like that. Boom, headshot. All right, so now we click over, and now you see the image is showing up. The problem is, the size is huge. If I was to hit OK, this is how much space it takes on my page. Now what if I don't want that spacing? So we right click on that image, image properties, and you can decide how high, how low you want the image. If you want it to scale together, what I mean by scaling together is so if I change this to say 150, it'll scale this image to the correct format so the image stays the same. If you don't scale it together, you might have a stretched image, you might have an elongated image. It's gonna look all crazy. So simple, 
but kind of confusing if you don't know exactly what you're doing. So now you say, hey, evil, I need to link something to this image. Link option is right here, guys. And if you needed to, you know, we're going to link Mixer right here. We're going to take our Mixer, copy. And we're going to take that link and you just click on it. Paste, copy. That's where you link. Now your, link, now your image is now a clickable hyperlink. Don't believe me? Here we go. We're going to hit save. Let's scroll all the way down. Check it out. There's my image. And if I click it, it opens me back up to Mixer, to my page or to the link that I've clicked. All right, guys. If you have any questions or any more um, issues, please feel free to message me, and I will definitely get you guys back in the comments, and we'll find out what is actually going on, reason why you can't uh, get the image to work or whatever. Um, but thanks so much, guys. Thank you so much for watching, taking the time to check this all out. And you guys have a wonderful day, evening, morning, good night, whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Evil. Thanks for watching.